Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Mile High Collector here. Today we are ripping uh, another retail rip, 2024 Top Series 1 Baseball. Uh, product's been out, you know, just over a month, month and a half so far. So a lot of a lot of uh, product has been ripped so far. Seen a lot of great hits online. I personally have, have ripped several formats, uh, including the Jumbo, the Hobby, and most of the retail. This is actually going to be my first Mega Box, but wanted to to rip three different retail formats today. So we have the the Mega Box, uh, two Blaster Boxes, and two Hanger Boxes. I've also ripped the Fat Pack, so I think I've hit every product configuration so far. Again, I've been very pleased with um, with the value in these boxes. The the design is great. I know it's you know it's not everybody's cup of tea, but I really enjoy it. Uh, the neon and, and some of the kind of the, the foil um, imprint on the front of the card. It, it just looks really great when it's photographed. A um, lot of value here. Had some great sales of cards so far on eBay. Even some of the, the base and, and, and more common uh, foil cards have been selling well. Some great rookie class um, uh, targets and hits in here. I've got a couple of Ellie De La Cruz cards in the back. Uh, but, it, you know, Evan Carter, a few others that are, are high on that list. So anyway, I want to dig in here, take a look at the three retail formats so you can decide what might work best for you. If you haven't already, if you could like, comment and subscribe, that would be great. It helps me grow the channel. And before we get started, if you want to comment down below, what's been your favorite retail format so far this year? If you've ripped more than one. Uh, which have you liked best? I think out of the ones I've ripped so far, uh, the hangers probably have the best value. Those those yellow parallels um, are great and are selling pretty well on eBay. Although the holiday foils in the blasters have been great as well. And again, this will be my first rip of a mega. I'm so excited to get into that. So let's set the the mega and the blasters up for um, for the next uh, the next part, and we'll go ahead and start with the hangers. So starting with hanger number one here. Uh, again, both of the the, hang, the hangers will have um, those exclusive yellow base card parallel, parallels in them. Uh, again, if you can see it hit a top rookie or a, a star um, in, in with the yellow um, border, uh, has some great value from a um, from a eBay or or sale, sale or trade perspective. So, anyway, excited to kind of dig in here um, into our first hanger um, for today. So, I like to go ahead and just takes the uh, back cards onto the front, save some of the hits for later, and that's a great one to start with, the rookie Evan Carter. He's one of the top rookies. So we'll go ahead and start our piles over here. Uh, Michael Harris, Peralta. We'll go kind of quick through uh, through some of the base cards. Um, you've probably seen quite a bit th of this online so far, but again, Julio Rodriguez, great looking cards. I just, again, if you can catch some of the foil there in the light, the, the shine on... Um, Mike Trout there. The shine on the cars, on the name, and some of the bordering, I think, looks really great. So really, really happy with this, uh, with the car, car design overall. Uh, Jazz Chisholm. Got Daniel Palencia. Seawald. Jesus Lazardo. George Springer. Michael Massey. Spencer Horowitz. Aaron Judge. Again, there's several parallels um, uh, in the set. So we'll look for some of those uh, coming up here, probably on some of our hits momentarily. Um, try to keep those in there, keep the surprise going. Future Stars, Chris Morrell, great card. Going through here, some of the faster base. DeGrom, Joy Votto. Okay, here we go. So Moreno is a Future Star. We got a, the, one of the Ken Griffey inserts, Celebration of the Kid. Those are great. That's a nice insert set. Okay, this is probably going to be a foil. Yep, Reese Olsen, rookie for the Tigers. That's a foil. And there's our first uh, yellow parallel, exclusive to the hanger box, Adol Garcia, and then Brandon Walter for the Red Sox, rookie. This is uh, the 1989 insert set. So Nolan Arenado, looks great there. And of course, the infamous or famous <laughs> infamous probably stars of MLB again I, I really like the design on these this year um again probably not the most exciting cards for most folks how I look there with the rookie I don't think they you know they they are super collectible not a lot of people um or desirability on eBay but you know if you're looking to make the set um they've got a great look to them and this is another inset set Grand Gamers uh, this one George Brett another insert set for this year not numbered and another base card. So, so not bad. First, um, first hanger so far. Uh, some great inserts. A couple of uh, 
a couple of good rookies, especially there with Evan, Evan Carter. Sorry about that. Rip that off the screen there. All right, our second hanger. Let's get this out here. Yeah, I think the hanger format, again, it's you get quite a few cards. So if you're a set builder, they're a great place. I know some people online have uh, been breaking cases uh, of hangers and fat packs, and that's inter interesting to see. Just a lot of uh, cards coming out of there that can help. Um, if you're a set builder, that's uh, a great way to get started. Um, so that's that's one thing to keep in mind as you look through, you know, kind of the formats you're looking to collect or to purchase that uh, you can get a lot of cards out of here um, to really, really help you hand build those set, which is fun. I've already built one. I might build another. Um, haven't decided yet. Um, but anyway, um, just, just a lot of value in the hanger format here. Some league leaguers, leaders, got the Cincinnati Reds league leaders card. That's a great card. Spencer Strider. Jordan Romano, Freddie Freeman. There's Adley. Silver poses his rookie card. There is Alika Williams. Okay, Jose Furman coming up on some of our potential hits here. Jordan Westberg, that's another great rookie for um, for the Orioles. Tyler Soderstrom. Henry Davis, great rookie for the Pirates. Former number one pick, I believe. Okay, here come our potential hits. Christopher Morrell looks like, oh, that's uh, the blue. Sure, well, that's a great card out of the out of $9.99. Um, that parallel, let's see what that's called. I forget the exact name of some of these, but the $9.99, that is the, just a the blue foil. So, yeah, so kind of got that shimmer to it, but great looking card out of $9.99. Set that aside. Mickey Moniak in the yellow, and great Walker Bueller also in the yellow. Uh, Corey Seager in 1989. We have Juan Soto, Bryce Harper, Jordan Lawler, good rookie, and Mike Trout on the Stars of MLB. And then these are the blueprint uh, inserts, I believe. Joey Votto, not numbered. So, yeah, so not too bad out of the. Uh, out of the hanger format, we'll go ahead and sleeve up this Morrell out of $9.99. Again, that's a great Future Stars card, and I think that blue foil uh, really makes it pop. A bit of a color match, so uh, put that up as our <laughs> sole kind of hit so far. Okay, so great start on the hangers. Again, uh, the, the yellow uh, border parallels are, are exclusive to that format. Uh, moving on to the blasters. Um, Again, open several of these. You're going to look for the royal blue base card parallels, similar to the yellows in the um, in the hangers. And then these also have those holiday um, holiday foils, um, Easter themed. I think they. I don't know if they specifically call them Easter, but you have the base to kind of have the flowers on it. Um, the eggs they have kind of the obviously eggs, rabbits. I haven't seen any of those yet. The flowers. So the flowers, umbrella water, and candid chicks are all numbered too, uh, are all numbered. So we'll be uh, looking for those as we go through here. Again, I've seen plenty of the base, few of the egg, um, but that's that's about it to this point. So excited to see if we can get a, uh, a nice rookie or a star uh, on one of those foils. Those have been um, holding their value so far on, on eBay uh, and selling pretty well. So, okay, blaster number one. Let's get into it. Again, down in the comments below, let me know maybe what your best pull has been out of 2024 Series 1. Uh, I think most folks have had a chance to, to rip it so far. It's been showing up in, in stores pretty well and on the shelves, um, and then obviously available online. Uh, Jordan Westberg there. So hopefully everybody's had a chance to, to get it who wants it. Um, and just curious what your favorite uh, pull has been so far. There's one of the uh, chrome variations of the Stars of MLB, Tyler Soderstrom. So not numbered, but I think those chromes look great. Um, so really like those. Regular stars we got. Juan Soto. Pack number two. Okay, got a backward card. That should be one of the holiday foils. So Nico Horner. Oh, and there's the egg. So that is, according to the packaging, one out of every 21 packs, I believe. So again, you can see just, I mean, just great cards. I think the, the look of those are, are outstanding. Um, again, some of them, especially if you get a star or a top rookie, um, carry some value for resale on, on eBay as well. So there's Tyler Saunders from Straight Rookie. 
Oh, great. LA Data Cruise insert. That's one I haven't seen yet. That's the um, greatest hit to 2023. Data Cruise on that. So that'll go along with some of those up there. But a nice insert there with Ellie. Top rookie. Bryce Harper on the Stars of MLB. And George Springer. Pack number three. Moving right along. So yeah, I really, I really like the blaster format again. Um, a, a good selection of cards. Nice Bobby Miller Future Stars. Um, again, those uh, Henry Davis rookie. Some of those parallels um, on the on the holiday foils are great. Um, Jordan Lawler rookie stars of MLB, and Justin Martinez in the back. So yeah, so that you can really um, find some value. I've seen I've, I've had a couple autos out of the blasters. Again, we're gonna have another one of the the holiday foils. That's the base holiday foil there. So one in every. Um, 12 packs, I think, maybe more common than that. But again, that looks, those are great looking cards on their own. They're, so they're a little bit more common, but even that that look right there is 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 pretty nice. Uh, Ronnie Mauricio, rookie. Love to get one of the bigger rookies on that. Oh, nice Jordan Westberg, 1989. It's a great insert. Trout, Stars of MLB, and uh, Batista. So no Ellie base rookie yet. I've hit a few of those in the in the rips I've done previously. So see if we can get a an Ellie or two out of here. We've gotten that one insert of Ellie, but looking for obviously base card, anything else we can come up with. Kevin Williams, George Kirby, Hunter Green, Brandon Marsh. And we've got a backwards card here. This should be a foil. Yep. Johan Duran foil. Freddie Freeman on the stars. And Bailey over. Two packs left in this first blaster. We'll move on to the next. Okay, so another holiday parallel. This one, Michael Massey from the Royals, and that's the base. Again, looks great with the light. Kristen Hancock, Alvarez, Lars, Christopher Newtmar, uh, Mar uh, sorry, Chris Morrell, mm -hmm. Dalton, uh, another rookie, Dominic Canzoni there. J.D. Davis got another blueprint. This one, Paul Goldschmidt. So those are pretty cool looking cards. I've got the LA back there in the background, if you can see. Lee Roberts, Stars of MLB. And there we go. And last card from the first blaster. Let's see if we have anything notable here. Kyle Schwarber, Bo Naylor, the Corbin Carroll Rookie Cup. Great card. There's another Evan Carter. So that's a great one of the top rookies there. We'll just leave him up in a second. Michael Harris. Looks like we got one of the, the, the uh, Royal Blue parallels, Dane Dunning. So not numbered, obviously, but uh, nice parallel. Another self relic there. All right, so let's go ahead and sleeve up that Evan Carter. Probably the best hit out of that blaster. Um, maybe one of the the uh, egg parallels, but you know, one of the top rookies can't beat that. Organize my piles here a second, and then we'll dig into the uh, second blaster. Excited to get to that uh, to the mega again. That's the that's the the one of these three formats that I haven't ripped yet personally. So excited to kind of dig in there. So, okay, so yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. The base is in one of every two packs. Eggs one of every twenty one. Rabbit one of every fifty six. So I'd like to see a rabbit or something above that. Again, I haven't seen any of those personally yet that I pulled. So I'll be fun to pull. Those. Second blaster here. Go ahead and rip these. I'll we'll start off with a Orioles foil card. Oh, that's great. Okay, so there we go. So there's a Rabbits right there. That's my first one, and that's on the team card. So that's pretty cool. Our Orioles are hot team. Got Gunnar Henderson on the card there, Cedric Mullins. Um, yeah, so that's that's great. So you can see the Rabbits there in the background. So that's the first one of those I've seen. Again, not numbered, but I believe it was one out of every 56 packs. So go ahead and sleeve that one up. That one probably will... Draw some interest on eBay if I had to guess. So pull that in there. Go ahead and top load that. Again, not not a super super short print, but definitely definitely cool. The rest of the pack here. The Bard Grisham, another Henry Davis. So again, one, another one of the top rookies for the Pirates. Sorry, Buxton, Grand Gamers. These parallels sometimes are hard to tell, so I've been taking a closer look at those. Sword of Shrim on the Stars of MLB. So that's cool. That that Orioles, Orioles um, Rabbits card is probably the coolest card you've hit so far, so very nice. Second pack here. 
Taking a look through here, um, J.D. Davis, another Evan Carter. It's great. So again, he's one of the top rookies you're after in the set. There's one of the Royal Blue Parallels, National League leaders, um, Matt, Matt Olson, Pete Alonzo, Ozzy Alves. Again, not numbered, but a nice parallel there. Aaron Judge on the stars of MLB. And Wilmer Flores. Next pack. I'm curious what you guys think of the 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 uh, holiday or Easter foils. Here's another one. This is Joey Votto. That's the base. Again, I think they look really cool. All the foils look good in tops usually, but those there's something about those um, those holiday foils that really that really pop. So I really really like those. But curious, comment below and let me know what your thoughts are. Oh, here we go. Um, Clayton Kershaw, 89. Thought that was a different logo for a minute. Thought that was numbered, but just a regular insert. Ronald Acuna Jr. on the stars of MLB. And then Emmett Sheehan, rookie on the back. Next pack here. Got three more packs to go, and then we're on to the mega. Okay, here we go. Michael Kopech, another holiday. Oh, no. That was just backwards. Is that numbered? That's interesting. Or did I? Oh, maybe I, I opened this from the back, actually. <laughs> I got thrown there a little bit. Here we go. So starting from the front, I was a little confused. I thought, why is that one backwards? Nothing nothing looking special about that. So uh, another pack here. A couple rookies. Home run challenge. Jordan Alvarez. Kind of like the design of these this year. They're pretty cool. I had some luck uh, with those last year. So um, we'll definitely take a shot with those this year. But um, those are great. And there's our... There's a good Ellie. Uh, again, Stars of MLB aren't highly collectible. But, you know... Everything LA right now is is got a shot at being worthwhile. So go ahead and get him sleeved up. Again, excited to see where he picks off. Had a great start to the season last year. Slumped a little after that, but uh, you know we'll see where he starts off this year. All right, two more packs here. Okay, I got it the right side. So again, we have another holiday foil. This one's a base rookie, Jose Ferrer for the Nationals. Nico Williams, Kenzone. Colby Carroll, Grant Harwig, uh, Shohei insert greatest hits 2023. Pretty great. Ronnie Russia for the Mets, Stars, and then JJ Blade. Second last pack. So again, nothing too mind blowing yet, but um, not a not a bad rip so far. Dale Cruz low. There's a Julio Rodriguez, last, last year's cover boy for Series 1. Brandon Donovan. Oh, great. Here we go. Here's an Ellie. So that's a pretty good hit. Ellie, Stars of MLB, Tops Chrome variation. Not numbered, but it looks great. So, again, that's... If you're going to if you're gonna hit a Stars of the MLB, you want to hit a Chrome. And if you're going to hit a Chrome, you want to get... Um, I would have to imagine Ellie is probably at the top of that list. So, that one's pretty great. Again, not super... High in value, but looks cool, so we'll keep them up there. Juan Soto, Stars of MLB, and the Mets. And last pack in the blaster, then we'll move on to that Mega. Again, we'll have another um, Easter foil. Uh, Jose Kim, uh, base, uh, the base holiday foil parallel. Jose Herman, Rice Harper, Pete Alonzo, Bobby Witt Jr., it's a great card. Have that in a foil that's really nice. Nick Robertson, Dan Smith-Sponson, Riley Green, great Tigers rookie last year. Bryce Harbour on the Stars MLB, and then Nico Horner. Okay, so that does it for the Blasters. Excited now to move on into the last uh, the last box here. This is our uh, Mega Box. Again, this is the first one that I've uh, opened here. These are going to look for the exclusive 89 Tops Baseball Foil Board cards. So looking at some of these... Um, the 1989 um, tops design in the foil board. I've seen a couple online and on eBay that look really great. Um, so excited to see those. Again, the same um, insert sets um, and tops mega stars inserts. So 16 packs, 14 cards per pack, 224. Total. So that's quite a few cards. So again, if you're if you're a set builder and looking to put this set together yourself. Um, you could do worse than a mega box. I think this was $49.99 retail. Um, so you can find, you know, you can make a pretty good dent, I would imagine, in, in your set um, as you look to put that together. So packs are in here, stacked vertically. Make sure we get all of those out. Quite a few packs. But yeah, that's a hefty, a hefty stack of packs. 
um, for the um, for the format. So that's 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 a, a mega box right there. Let's dig in and see uh, see what we're we're seeing here. So some of these parallels and inserts will be or the um, the parallels will be new for me. So we'll see them together for the first time. Mike Trout, Spencer Horowitz, Aaron Judge, Moreno, Chris Bryant. All right, there's a Kuna. Cunha Jr. 1989. It's a nice insert. Tops of MLB. Okay. Christian and Carn and Carn Strand. That's a that's a mouthful. Nice, nice young kid on the red. So that's a great one to have. Connor Joe. There's our first base LA. So again, um, anything LA is is worth worth you know grabbing right now. Again, a lot of work to do to see if he can reach kind of the expectations that were set for him, but it's nice to you know have a few of these in the PC. Uh, and see how he progresses this year. So that's again one of the of the rookies between him and Evan Carter and a couple others are probably the top um, rookie chases this year. So we'll let's pull down Evan Carter there just to do all things LA if we can. So and then the last card here. Sorry about that. It was terrible. Board. All right, get through this pretty quick if we can. I know a lot of this base we've seen a lot of, so we'll just call out some of the hits um, that may be a little different. Another Henry Davis. Justin Steele, Lee Robert, Peter Armstrong on the Stars MLB, Royce Lewis. Okay. So yeah, this is just this is a lot of base. It even feels like it's maybe less insert heavy than the parallels, or than the uh, than the blaster boxes. So again, if you're really looking to build a set or team sets, this this is probably a good investment here. Get you most of the. There's a Shohei Otani blueprint, which is great. Followed closely by the Shohei Stars of MLB. Heim. Okay. On to the next pack. So, yeah, I think yesterday Shohei, or just earlier this week, Shohei had his first spring training home run for the Dodgers. So, that will be exciting to watch him play in LA this year. Um, eager to get the season underway. Should be a great season. Got something backwards here. So, let's see, see what that is. Oh, this must be one of the foil variations. Yeah, so there is the 89 foil. Oh, those are great looking. So CES, I'm going to call them from uh, the Reds. Again, not numbered, but those look great. I'd love to get an Ellie um, in that. Just the, um, this really pops, doesn't it? So those are the foil board variations that are exclusive to the Mega. So those are pretty cool. There. Another Ellie, which is great. Keep that side of sleeve. So yeah, so I mean they are we're definitely Ellie heavy in this rip today. I've, I've opened several um formats before that have less, so excited to get you know a few different Ellie cards and inserts, which is you know one of the things we're on the lookout for in 2024 Series One. Max Muncie, DeGrom, again, Clayton Kershaw insert, Pete Alonzo. And a few more base on the back. I'll go to this side. Okay. Go quickly through the base here. Jordan Westberg, another good rookie. There's another Chrome. Rookie's good. Jordan Lawler, rookie Chrome. Another Grand Gamers, Bob Feller. And then we got Stars and MLB, Riley Green. Base. Coming up on the end now. Yeah, so let me know so far what you think. Which is your favorite format based on what we've seen so far? Again, I think there's pluses and minuses to all of these. Um, I really like the holiday foils in the blasters, but there's obviously a ton of cards here in um, in the mega. And so I think that you know there's there's a case to be made for all of these formats. I think the hangers have great value. I think the yellow parallels look great. The yellow border parallels that are exclusive there look great. So, yeah. So, I think, you know, Topps has done a pretty good job this year, I think, kind of putting out what is, you know, so far been a well-received set in terms of design um, and content for Series 1. So, we got a backwards card here. This is probably going to be a foil. Yep. So, Drake School, Rainbow Foil. Bobby Witt, Stars of MLB. Some base on that. Cody Singer, Rookie Cup. 
yeah, so I don't know, you know, I don't know, I assume they'll come out with kind of those big super boxes that they did for C uh, Series 1 last year. Be interesting to see what they do with that. Um, Sordistrom will kind of go through some of these rookies we've seen before. There's a Josh Naylor blue, not numbered. Bobby Witt insert on the 2023 greatest hits. Chisholm, one white. Okay. Got about six packs to go, it looks like. So, rip it up. This is kind of a longer rip, so appreciate you hanging to this point in the video if you've made it. Looking for maybe a little bit bigger hit than we've had, but we'll see. Got a couple backwards cards coming up. Okay, here's a 999. So, that's going to be a blue. That's, you know, maybe you can call it a color match, right? George Kirby out of 999. That's great. We'll get that one sleeved up. Here's a backward of the 89. So this is, again, another one of the 89 foil board parallels. Clayton Kershaw. Those are not numbered, but again, really great look to them. And there is CES on the Stars of MLB. A couple of base. All right, five packs to go. Yeah, I don't think I've seen um, any of the team logo, are they call, I'm not sure if they're called team color or team logo um, borders either. Those have seen, I've seen those being pulled and those are pretty cool, but I haven't seen one in person yet. So I'd still like to see that. Looks like we have another of the 89 foil boards. This one is Andrew Abbott. Great Reds rookie. Rookie cup. Get that one sleeved up. Got a Jordan on the Stars of MLB. So yeah, there's a lot of a lot of cool parallels to chase. Um, you know, I've seen a couple of the the traditional Father's Day um, borders, seen those, but some of the newer ones still looking to kind of see those in person. So something still to chase. Jacob Amaya. There is another Chrome variation on the Stars of MLB. Corey Seager. Joey Votto blueprint. Vladdy Jr. Okay. Four packs to go. Let me know what your favorite pull has been so far. Again, nothing earth-shattering, but I think we've had a couple notable pulls in there with some of the Ellie's and some of the uh, variations. The Riley Green at 89, or 89. Corey Seager. Rest is base. Let's see here. Three packs left. All right, let's see if we can get pretty good here. There's Jason Dominguez, another one of the rookies you're looking for that we haven't hit yet, so that's great. We'll get him sleeved up. Neil Cruz, Daniel Bard. Looks like we have a blue coming up. Another Henry Davis. All right, Yuri Perez, Future Stars. Blue, not numbered, but it's a great-looking card. Another Jazz. Cunha, he's card number one in the set this year. And Christian Javier. All right, two packs to go. No autographs, no relics, <laughs> so not sure if the odds are are high for any of those in these products, but, um, you know, kind of this is a good look for those who are looking at, at, at the version to buy, what they what they can expect. Now they're the foil boards. This one, Freddie Freeman, 89. Again, not numbered, but great looking card. Goldschmidt, efficient base. All right, and last pack. Here we go. Let's see if we can finish it with a bang. If not, appreciate you sticking around. There's the base CES rookie. Get him sleeved up. Emmett Sheehan, Bobby Miller, Future Stars, Justin Lawrence, Justin Steele, Clark Schmidt, National League leaders with Snell, Senga, and Steele. Got another of the foil boards, this time rookie, Curtis Mead. Pete Crow Armstrong, Arenado. Kessinger and Merrill Kelly. So a lot of cards, uh, great rip. I'd say obviously, you know, some of these cards probably our biggest hits. I think out of a uh, 999 there, we had another 999. So that's pretty good. The base Ellie, the Chrome Ellie, and then the rabbit variation on the, um, the Orioles card. So thanks for sticking around. I know that's a long one, a lot of different products, but hopefully that gives you an idea of what to expect from each of those format. Uh, again, if you haven't uh, already done it, please like, comment, subscribe. It'll really help me grow the channel. Uh, and, and other than that, thanks for sticking around. appreciate you watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.